Welcome back to another episode of the Midnight Snack. I am your host, Chef Adrian Menace, and today we're going to be making a 30 minute dinner for everybody. We're going to be making Mongolian beef with rice and vegetables. First, you need to start off by assembling your ingredients. You want to start off with a third cup of soy sauce and water, a quarter cup each of cornstarch and olive oil, a half cup of brown sugar, a tablespoon each of ginger and garlic, and three pounds of beef. You will need to have the beef in a plastic bag. This is very essential. Of course, remove the meat from the bag and you want to slice off the thin fat cap that's on top of the meat and slice it into small quarter inch strips. Just like this little juicy strip right here. Look at it glistening in the sunlight. Oh, it's so beautiful. Now, I don't wanna do the rest of this, so I'm just gonna let it poof into existence. Now we got our quarter inch strips of meat. We're now going to take that, put it back into the bag, and add in the quarter cup of cornstarch. Now you wanna take this and you wanna aggressively shake it so this way you're able to fully coat all of the meat with the cornstarch. After the meat has been fully battered, you want to take your olive oil and you want to start heating it up in your pan until it's become a liquid consistency. You know that your olive oil is ready when it runs like water and you're able to move it around like water. Once the oil is hot enough, you want to introduce all your meat into your pan and start getting it sautéed in the oil. You want to let the meat brown, but you do not want to cook it all the way through. You want to leave it a little bit bloody because we will be introducing it back into the pan later on. While you're cooking, you want to make sure to keep your pan on medium high so this way you get that nice sizzling effect while it cooks. After about seven minutes, you wanna take your meat and you wanna drain it out. Make sure that you drain out all the oil because we will not be needing the oil after this. Introducing our pan back to medium heat, we're going to put our garlic and our ginger into our pan, saute it until it's become translucent. This will take roughly about two minutes to do. After you notice that the ginger and garlic have turned brown, you want to add in our water and our soy sauce and let this sit for about 30 seconds with the ginger while it heats up and feel free to add in the half cup of brown sugar.
just to make it a little more special you don't have to add in these ingredients I'm adding in a little bit of honey a little fish sauce and red chili flakes just to give it a little bit of umph to the sauce After leaving your sauce to boil for about five minutes, we want to reintroduce back our beef into it and let it simmer for about 10 minutes more. This is the perfect time to start a rice and maybe some vegetables. I'm using some boil in a bag rice and some leftover vegetables for Mother's Day, but don't feel obligated to use those as well. If you'd like to make fresh rice, you definitely can. I'll be putting up a video for fresh rice here soon, but for right now, since my store does not have any rice, we're going to be using boil in a bag rice. And now after 10 minutes, we have a nice thick sauce. You can tell that the sauce is about ready to be done by the way that you can scrape the bottom and see the bottom of your pan. It leaves a little bit of a trail, but doesn't leave the sauce in there completely when you first scrape it. That means that the sauce is becoming too thick and it's going to be ready very shortly. So at this time, you want to drop the temperature just to make sure that everything else gets cooked before your meat does. Alright, assembly time. I have my two bowls filled with rice. Uh, they're still in the packages because I'm waiting for them to cool. I have my vegetables ready. I have Brussels sprouts, carrots, and bell peppers that we uh, roasted for Mother's Day. I'm going to shake out these bags of rice, put on top my vegetables, and then coat the entire thing with my meat and sauce, then mixing it all together to give myself a very beautiful looking dish. And there you have it, a very fast, easy, delicious meal that only requires about seven ingredients and about 30 minutes of your time. If you end up giving this recipe a try, please tag me at Midnight Snack A on Instagram. I would love to see how you guys change up the recipe and how you guys do it differently. Thank you for watching.